Curtis Bay and Fairfield, we were the dumping ground. They don't really think of us as a dumping ground now. We are somebody to get something done. Miss Edith and so many of us in Curtis Bay did what was thought to be impossible. We broke the cycle of our community being used as a dumping ground. We stopped the plan to build the nation's largest trash burning incinerator. Now, we're taking on an even bigger challenge, and we're inviting all of you to join in. We're building a grassroots movement, linking together communities across Baltimore, using community land trust as a tool to create beautiful, quality, permanently affordable housing in their communities. But what does this mean? Stable, affordable housing in Curtis Bay is pivotal to uh, healing and restoration for a lot of the women that I work with. I have a 25-year-old girl here at the well with a one-year-old child who's been removed from her home because of racial divide. And she is um, going to be homeless in about a week. And I haven't been able to get the proper help for her that we're looking for. Had we had some sort of a cooperative living space, we could employ her and um, give her and her one-year-old a place to live. Because of the, the beautiful things that are happening here in this community of Curtis Bay, whereas at one point in their life they wanted to leave the community, they now want to stay and take part of its rebuilding, and that's really a great thing. It's time for us to build our very first community land trust home. Every bit of support that you give will go to securing our first home, to provide for a family, to build community, and to create a path forward for Baltimore. Every, every river starts with a drip. And if you get enough, enough people behind you, after a while, that drip will come to a mighty stream. If we won, the community land trust is what we, we're gonna just claim it right now. I'm just gonna say that. Together, we will rise up, we will reclaim our dignity, and we will rebuild this community.